The sixth angel sounded, and John heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before the highest. It said to the sixth angel with the trumpet to loosen the four angels, which are bound in the great river Euphrates. The sixth angel with the trumpet is connected to the sixth angel with the vial. See, the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river, the Euphrates. The connection is, of course, the great river Euphrates. So what happened? The water of the great river was dried up. The four angels allowed the river to dry up. This way, the kings of the east might be prepared. Prepared for what is the question? We need to hold on a minute and make sure we understand what they are prepared for. When the vow was poured out, the great river Euphrates was dried up to prepare the way of the kings of the east. John also saw three unclean spirits come out of the mouth of the dragon, Satan, the beast, European kings, and the false prophet, the churches and educational systems of the world. These are, these are all the spirits of devils setting up the kings of the earth to come to the great battle of the day of the highest almighty. Now watch this. The trumpet has the four angels prepared for a specific hour, day, month, and even year to kill one third of the population of men on the earth. A 200 million man army killing each other and the people of the earth who do not have the seal of the father on their foreheads. So let's understand the symbolism John used. The three unclean spirits come out of the mouth of the unrighteous. Those spirits are the spirit of selfishness, lust, and hate. These spirits live in the minds of the people of the world, which makes them void of the Holy Spirit and places them in Satan's hands. In Satan's hands, they ignorantly or purposely worship the beast. The beast issues out his image and standard to the people by the power of Satan using the false prophet. 